how the concept behind this video was that it would be shorter and give me a break from some of my longer projects, but this is my fourth time filming this. So maybe Dan Wills just doesn't want you to know the truth. Hi, today I'm here to confirm to you that neither you nor I have ever had an original thought in our tiny little lives. I've always been lactose intolerant, I theoretically never should have been drinking dairy, and I don't anymore. But when I did, I'm pretty sure it was exclusively because of these boys. Danimals is giving away five fantastic Caribbean vacations. It's Caribbean. With all access to everything fun, under the sun. You can snorkel, ride, or just chill out. You can look for specially marked animals with us on it. Or with your parents' permission, go to danimals.com for free means of entry. Many will enter, few will win. Smoothie sailing, danimals, get your blast off. I mean, we talk about Disney Wild Childs a lot, and if drinking copious amounts of dairy for money for a major corporation doesn't make you a wild child, I don't know what does. Check it out. You just rip off the lid, crush, and slurp like so. Mmm, mmm. That's good. Yeah, it is. I'll have some more. It's better a second time. But Dylan and Cole put in the work. These commercials were everywhere. And as it turns out, I am not the only one who dreamed as a child of being whisked away on a Caribbean cruise. It's Caribbean. With these two teen boys as if I was a YN character in a One Direction fan fiction. Now I would say the outcome of these sweepstakes, especially the Caribbean cruise, are among one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of my generation. And like any bottom tier true crime podcast, I've decided that it's up to me and only me to solve this mystery for everyone once and for all. So have a dairy adjacent beverage, have a seat, and join me on my investigation into who exactly won the Danimal sweepstakes. So I started very technically. I googled who won the Dylan and Cole sweepstakes, and almost immediately you'll see these tweets, this TikTok, this YouTube video seemingly indicated that this guy won, which makes this for a very short and easy video that I haven't filmed four times. Okay, so this is me, and if you don't believe me, I made a whole YouTube video about it. But don't be fooled, he did not win the Danimal sweepstakes, he actually won a Disney Channel sweepstakes that allowed him to meet the cast of Sweet Life on Deck, which of course also had Dylan and Cole. And he does say that very clearly at the beginning of his YouTube video and everything, but this is the internet, right? Not everybody's fully absorbing the information that they're getting all the time. And so inevitably you'll see comments like, oh, mystery solved, good, now we know. And it's like, no, we don't know. Did anyone ever actually end up winning that Danimal sweepstake to hang out with Zach and Cody? Now, to be fair, it was not the Danimal sweepstake, but I was in fact, the grand prize winner of the Deck at Guru sweepstakes on Disney Channel. So I go on Twitter and I respond to her, yep, that was me, at Dylan Sprouse, at Cole Sprouse. And we get to drive around all of Hollywood before getting to the Renaissance Hollywood, which is this like giant hotel in downtown Hollywood. And I'm like, <laughs> next day, friends. And they're like, oh my god, you're the grand prize winner of the Deck at Guru sweepstakes. And they go behind the counter and pull out this like giant skateboard with a gift basket on top. And then all of a sudden, Dylan and Cole's- You Brown. forgot Debbie Ryan. Debbie Ryan came in before that. Debbie Ryan comes in too. She was really sweet. And then finally, Dylan and Cole Sprouse come in, and they were extremely sweet. Dylan, 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 nice Dylan, Dylan how are you? Nice to meet you. Cole, how are you? Nice to meet you. 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 Nice to meet I mean, at least I think he wasn't. But other than a few other random parody videos and spoof articles claiming to announce the winner, it kind of hit a dead end at that point. So next I tried searching for it on YouTube and dang it, someone has already made this video. Like I said, never had an original thought. Uh, I'll be linking her channel in the description. She seems lovely. And importantly, she actually found something that I did not notice on my initial watch of these Dylan and Cole commercials. Wish my birthday were every month. Danimal's birthday extravaganza! Happy birthday! I realize it's impossible to see because all of these videos are saved in 240p and we're from 2009, but in the fine print it says Dylan and Cole will not actually deliver the gifts. And in some other commercials it also says something similar, that Dylan and Cole will not actually appear at the sweepstakes giveaway. But it doesn't say anything like that on the Caribbean Cruise commercial. So theoretically, 
the boy should have gone on this Caribbean cruise. But after watching that commercial another 30 or 40 times, I began to realize that in that commercial, Dylan and Cole never actually say that they will be on the cruise with you. They just talk about how great it would be if you won the cruise. So I tried to see if I could find any postings of the full terms and conditions, and I found a blog post that seemed to post the old terms and conditions from 2009. And again, these terms and conditions don't mention Dylan and Cole anywhere. I would also be doing you a disservice if I did not read some of the comments on this blog post. I love the Coolision tubes. I also like the commercials and the boys. I have never been on a vacation. Please, thank you. I think Danimals is so good. Danimals, make things right. Let this person go on a vacation. I think it's the least you can do. But getting back to these terms and conditions, one of like the three things I learned from getting a law degree is that if something isn't in the terms and conditions, especially if it's terms and conditions written by a big company that has the money to really lay these things out, there's a reason for that. And the reason is so that Danimals can turn around and say, um, actually it doesn't say that. Um, actually it doesn't say that Dylan and Cole will be there. That's the, the legal phrase. And that's also when I realized that those disclaimers at the bottom of those commercials, those commercials only aired after the Caribbean cruise promotion aired. So I think it's possible that People were upset when they won their cruise and thought they were gonna spend all their time with these sweet boys, but they were fooled. And so maybe Danimals just put these disclaimers in to sort of cover their asses in the future. And if Dylan and Cole weren't actually ever on these cruises, I think it actually begins to make a lot more sense why we don't know whoever actually won. Cause think about it, if you were just like a kid in 2009, would you really pay attention to where you won a cruise from? Or maybe the parents just surprised them with a the cruise and the kids never knew it was from Danimals in the first place. I don't have any like analytical data on this, but I feel like cruises are pretty common sweepstake prizes. I mean, just a few months ago, I had to sit through this painful cruise sweepstakes ad on the men tell all. Great, is anyone gonna ask Eric about his yearbook photos? So what I really think has happened in all this, I think it's unlikely that the sweepstakes were faked in their entirety. I mean, advertising, advertising sweepstakes to kids especially, is such a highly regulated area that I really doubt Danimals would risk opening themselves up to liability like that. But I realize that just because something's shady or illegal doesn't mean a major corporation won't do it. That's kind of their forte. But in all likelihood, I don't think that Dylan and Cole were ever on those Caribbean cruises. And so, mystery solved. Except, I think people are potentially confusing the Dylan and Cole Caribbean cruise sweepstakes with the video meet and greet sweepstakes. Ready? And action! Strawberry explosion! Now that's a blast of flavor! Enter the Danimals video promotion! Action! Danimals Crush Cups! You can get the code from specially marked Danimals or go to Danimals.com for free means of entry. With your parents' permission, post your fun Danimals video to be judged by Dylan and Cole. The grand prize is a trip to Hollywood. To hang with us. Plus, 10,000 bucks. Nice. Many will enter, few will win. Danimals, get your blast on. Yes, Danimals did run a sweepstakes that explicitly promised for you to meet Dylan and Cole and win $10,000, so surely we would have heard about this. And the winning entry would be posted on the Danimals website, so just go to the Wayback Machine. I tried for far too long uh, to get the Flash website up and running. I know there's like emulator tools that you can use to look at old Flash websites. And it's probably possible to make this Danimals website run, but it is beyond uh, my technical capability. And even if I could theoretically get the Danimals archive to get up and running, isn't it odd that there are only like two archived posts from 2009 to 2010 and so many from like all the other years around it? I mean, 2009 to 2010 is seemingly the only era of Danimals sweepstakes that we remember. And yet there's nothing on the internet to indicate that this really happened. It's suspicious for sure. But according to Dylan and Cole, entries for the contest would be submitted through their website and then finalists would be voted on by people visiting the website. Those finalists would win a new camera and then Danimals would select from those finalists a winner. A good entry. Uh, you know, really just in the video, highlight how you love, how uh, you love that Danimals is making your day extraordinary and how it's changed your day and be creative and fun. And if you are and you're having a lot of fun, we'll see it in the video. And express yourself because you cannot be wrong. But it turns out that quite a few submissions were actually also posted to YouTube, either because people didn't finish their submission in time for the deadline, or they just really wanted to grace us with these uh, beautiful submissions. And for that, I'm grateful. They are something. <laughs> Yay, finally, it's my turn. Okay, I'm gonna try to knock them all over. Woo, I knocked them all over. 
over! I was just enjoying another Danimals Crush Cup. Eating so many Danimals Crush Cups has changed my life in more ways than one. It's made me incredibly strong. Look at that muscle. I can lift entire cities. Don't be fooled, folks. This isn't just a picture of a city skyline glued to a cardboard box. But still, let's not get distracted. Isn't it weird that no one's even talked about being a finalist? I mean, if you want a camera from Danimals for the Dylan and Cole sweepstakes, I feel like that's also a pretty big deal. There's no Danimals post, there's no announcement of a winner, there's like nothing to indicate that this contest happened other than our shared memories and whatever is still here on YouTube. So my conspiracy brain was definitely starting to go a little bit at this point. Maybe everyone was right, this is all a big cover up and maybe the earth is flat and maybe the moon landing was fake and maybe, but that's when I saw this video. So it seems like another ordinary Danimal submission, but in the title it actually says as finalist. And when you look at the description, it says in the present tense to vote for these kids. So seemingly this description was written before finalists were selected, but it's possible the parents went back and edited the title after the fact because hey, they were finalists. Far from conclusive evidence, but it was the most I had gotten in about three days of research at this point. Um, and that's when I saw this in my recommended tab with like less than 2000 views at the time that I found it, an actual screen recording of the Danimals website from the time this video contest was occurring. And the music it plays over this video, I mean, I couldn't think of a more thematically appropriate tune if I could. And I immediately screen recorded this screen recording because I could not risk losing this footage. And for all I know, the person who posted this would die under mysterious circumstances because Danimals had found out that we knew too much. Bottom line, I was not risking losing this. Now, this doesn't show the actual winner, but it does show some of the finalists. So it's very possible that the actual winner is among these people that we see on the screen recording. And of course, my final piece of evidence, this 2018 interview with Cole Sprouse. Did anyone ever meet Dylan and Cole Sprouse for the Danimal contest? Or was it all a lie? No, it, no, it did happen. And uh, it was incredibly awkward. We were told we were gonna have a nice gift to give to the kid who just turned 16 and got himself a truck. But Danimals gave us a skateboard, which was weird because he already had uh, a means of locomotion that was much better than skateboarding around. He had just gone hunting. I'm pretty sure there was a dead deer in the back of the truck. That was a <laughs> strange period of my life. So there you go, someone won and they won a skateboard. But a skateboard wasn't the prize, $10,000 was a prize. And they go behind the counter and pull out this like giant skateboard with- Giant skateboard. Because he already had uh, a means of locomotion that was much better than skateboarding around. He gets to drive around all of Hollywood. Is Cole Sprouse confusing one of the other meet and greet sweepstakes he participated in with this one. Granted, I don't know how you confuse this 11 year old boy with a 16 year old boy with a truck with a dead deer in the back, but something about this interview also has the energy of that time Robert Pattinson just made up that he saw a clown die at a circus in an interview because he was bored. First time I went to a circus, somebody died. One of the clowns died. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not letting that go. How did the clown die? His little car exploded. The joke car ex exploded on him. <laughs> and this is Cole Sprouse that we're talking about. This is the man who created a Tumblr account as a social experiment. How do I know what I can trust, Cole? I don't know what's real anymore. So maybe Cole's misremembering, or maybe he's outright lying. And maybe there never was a Danimals winner. But you know what makes that worse? if this is true. You think they stopped with Dylan and Cole? This is not the first time that Danimals has done this. This is not the last time that Danimals has done this. Matt and Alex, whoa! You're gonna win a sweet block party hosted by us. You can invite 50 of your friends. Let's get this party stopped. Hey guys, 
You want to rock for real? You can play the Rock Out with Miley instant win game. The grand prize is a trip for six to L.A. To come hang out with me. Can you believe Danimals is giving away three Walt Disney World vacations? If I won, I know what I would do first. Me too. Test Dora track. Jenny. So who won the Naked Brothers Band contest? Who won the Hannah Montana contest to record a song with Miley Cyrus? Who won the hashtag 2018 momfidence sweepstakes? I will not rest until that hashtag mom gives me their hashtag momfidence selfie solely for research purposes. I mean, with all of the sweepstakes that Danimals has run over the years, it is kind of wild that the Dylan and Cole crew sweepstakes seem to be the only ones that have really stuck in the public consciousness. And seemingly no one ever knows the winners of any of these Danimal sweepstakes, except we do know the winner of one of them. I showed earlier Dylan and Cole were in a different Danimals commercial that was a sweepstakes run for elementary schools to have their playgrounds redid. Now, it specifically said in the fine print that Dylan and Cole wouldn't actually be there, but there were actually articles posted about the winners and there was this Reddit post from someone whose school actually won. And look, they have a Reddit AMA so we can see all of the juicy details of it. I'm not mad that no one asked any questions on this. I'm just disappointed. Do better, internet. So if the person who met Dylan and Cole, Zach and Cody, all these years ago wants to come forward and give me some peace in this chaotic world, I mean, I would appreciate it, but maybe the real Danimals prize was the friendships we made along the way. And again, an obscene amount of dairy. With all that being said, this doesn't really have anything to do with the rest of this, but I found this article while I was researching and I can't get it out of my head. And so now y'all have to be stuck with this knowledge as well. Mother goes too far for Hannah Montana ticks. A mother who helped her daughter fake an essay about her father dying in Iraq to win Hannah Montana concerts has denied trying to fool anybody. We never said anything like this was a true story. Never, it was just an essay. We do essays all the time. You know, my daughter does essays at school all the time. I never lied and said that the essay was a true story. Her daughter beat out 1,000 other girls from the Dallas area to win four tickets to a Hannah Montana concert in Albany, New York. Why the contest was run in Dallas when the concert was in Albany, New York is beyond me, but anyways. Her essay began with the powerful line, my daddy died this year in Iraq. The letter went on to say that the girl would give mommy the angel pendant that daddy put on mommy when she was having me. The contest sponsor, the girls clothing and furniture store club Libby Lou, has since given the tickets to another unnamed contestant. The Disney Channel really had society in a chokehold in the early 2000s that I don't know if they've ever been able to replicate. Maybe that's a good thing. And that is it. I know this is kind of a shorter one, but like I said, I've been working on a lot of longer projects lately and I just kind of needed a, a brain break, if you will. If you like this one, feel free to like, feel free to comment, subscribe. Um, and actually, if you do all of those things, there is a chance that you'll meet Dylan and Cole Sprouse. Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.